What's up everyone, this is Amos from TLC77 and today I'm gonna show you how to install Angel 4.4 KitKat on your Samsung Vibrant. Yes, it's compatible of course because of the reduces of the need required specs that Google always put uh, in, in other Android versions. So right now, like all, all other Android versions um, supporting the Vibrant, like, you know, developers made it. So, made ROMs for it. But right now it's probably gonna run smoother because of the lower requirements. So go ahead, boot into recovery mode. You know how to. Um, it's recommended to flash it from 4.3 or 4.2. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and flash it from 4.2 because it's 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 just you know like I'm not gonna flash it from 2.2 like I was doing uh, like five minutes ago. So right now just go ahead. Uh, there there are two zips that you're gonna download first. Um, before you like make sure you back up backed up everything by the way just in case and first you got before you wipe data you could go you, sh you you will like you have to go ahead and install this kernel right here kkkk KK kernel v1.0 dot zip just go ahead you might get an installation aborted shit first because like um it's not really compatible with the ROM so you, you're gonna go ahead and flash it again that's what you should do. Um, get cat kernel because it says right there. Um, run this if you wanna to install. Run this update zip to install. Now it's gonna be installing the KitKat kernel. You can't reboot your phone right now. Probably it'll go back to recovery. So right now, just go back to your main screen in your recovery and then go to advanced. And then the first one should probably say or something like that, depending on what kind of recovery you're using. Um, um, say clockwork mod recovery is kind of recommended. Go ahead and like you you probably get clockwork mod recovery because like after you flash this kernel, go ahead and put reboot recovery. And now it's rebooting recovery. Go ahead. So well, nothing actually new, nothing updated, cause, except for the uh, for the version, cause it was 4.4 or something like that. So let's right now just go ahead and do the normal steps, which are oh, sorry for moving the phone so much. There you go. Wipe data factory reset. It just basically the kernel basically installs uh, a new recovery for you. And done. Done. Go ahead, done. It's not like I have anything on the phone. And right now, just go ahead and install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, there you go. Choose zip from SD card and then install the BAM 2.0. It's modified for the vibrant by Team Passion. Thanks to Team Passion, of course. They, they, like, they modify vibrant ROMs like. Like the best vibrant ROMs out there, most stable ones. Go ahead and then go and then go ahead. Wait for it till it installs. I'm gonna be back when it installs. It might take a while, despite like because of the um, I mean like because of the large file, cause it's like 285 megabytes. Plus, uh, it got a, this phone got a single core processor and it's only one gigahertz, clock that one gigahertz. So it might take a, um, one or two minutes or maybe five minutes, depending. So just wait for it. Just, um, just lay it down on some table and then wait for it. It's almost done. Uh, it went all the way right here in like one second. And it's done. It says right there, complete. From SD card install from SD card complete. Um, right now, just go and choose zip again. Choose a zip again, and then reflash the kernel. I guess that's what Nelson told us to do. Oh yeah, yes. And it's complete. So what you need to do right now, my bad. 
Uh, so what you need to do right now is go back, um, go ahead and clear the other cache. It won't hurt. Like you don't really have to do it, but it's okay. That's it. Um, do they have um fixed permissions? Man, yeah, fuck that. Um, what else they got? Now, if, uh, right now, just go ahead and reboot the phone. So right now, you should get this bam animation, bam for Android, bam Android, bam. It's actually only for, only for Android. So, this might take like 5-6 minutes, probably sometimes 20 minutes. Just let it boot. Wait for it, just wait for it, just be patient. Go play some game while it boots. So I'm going to be back when it boots on, I'm going to set it up and then I'm going to show you some stuff around. And that's it. I'm, I'm, I think I'm gonna make a review, but I'm really, I'm really a bad reviewer. I just gotta work on my reviews. But um, I'm gonna be back when it goes ahead and boots. And by the way, if you notice the the KitKat thing, KitKat Edition is um keeps blinking, then it's okay. You got no problem. That's it. That's how it goes. So go ahead and after it reboots you should get some kind of unfortunately this process stopped and everything it's normal it happens on every time you flash it so right now i'll go ahead set it up and then i'm gonna be back so there you go you have angel 4.4 right now on your phone it actually looks better on, on in real life than the camera like, no shit but you know the same so just go ahead and play around with it. This like this could be an actual um daily driver. No, not bad. It's not really bad at all. And just go ahead and install Google Now. I'm I'm a chit like I don't think like cause they don't have Google Now by the screen. Maybe because there's no Google Now pre-installed. So you just go to the Play Store and install Google Now and everything. And if you want to customize your phone, you got BAM Control. This is the place where you customize your phone. Uh, there you go with focused you got some customizations some really cool customizations all right thanks for watching so make sure you subscribe for more and see you on my next video like the click the like button it won't really hurt